ice ice what cubes how many? over many 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 <laughs> hi juliana hi bill what's going on nah just chilling having a meal so yeah, yeah. another day in uganda tuli kubwa wa me just you are seeing and the my videos mm. better come my uni oh, yeah, my uni kukasori that fish which is never gets off your mind when i post it yes oh you know what mm. it makes me want to like go wherever it is you know found it mm. <laughs> never go although i may not be able to go there but mm. it's so appetizing but it, it's always a reminder that Ugandan food is the best. Mm. Many of Fenunji who have really good food and it looks good and it tastes good. Mm. And it's healthy most of it. Team healthy. How is your cooking game like? My cooking game is on point. Mm. Yeah, and I'm not even bragging about it. It's on point. Um it's just that I tend to be very particular with the kind of things I like. Right. So um don't get me to okusiba oluwombo au njabuwomaze echo sichimani sichikolanga ko I think it's probably because of the way we were raised where we come from we don't really eat luwombo luwombo ngola baganda right. so that part I don't know but when it comes to cooking anything else right from pilau to chicken pesto to I mean anything posho beans chicken I, I, I can cook it all everything na katogo kamu wow akaka binu ate byenda nje byenze ngo kwagala um mm. i can cook byenda it's not it's not hard mm, mm. ne yo ino ko video mangu mangu anti that's yes. the thing ate bina bakwata yeah <laughs> yeah it's crazy man mm e wakati mbadde tembi manya na bimanya what she likes to cook and stuff so yeah Mm-hmm. as your norm mm. you drop a couple of projects and you go rogue mm. anyway very very young of umba an album is a state of mind you go to a particular place mm-hmm. some people by, by taking that time na collecting your songs zen nyinji nyinji na to take on the project na gamba it's an album na mm-hmm. gamba for him that's not how he interprets what an album is supposed to be like mm. an album is a body of work nt to gamba julian at that particular time her mind yaliwa so when yeah. you listen to the album Cheino Kogamba just what it's called bits and pieces it's bits and pieces of me in mm. terms of expression in terms of mood in terms of inspiration in terms of what am i which zone was i in when i was doing this particular song what was i talking about here it's and what was i talking about there right it's it's little bits and pieces of my soul of right. me um and there's more coming by the way i just wanted to get this album out because i have something else coming well wow. yes so some of the songs on this album i'm in that place right now mm. i'm in that place where i want to share some of those things about mm. my life mm. um some of the things i've been through and maybe people didn't know right and i decided to put that in song right um and i've ha- i've got some fresh fresh stuff from you know 2018 mm. um i've worked with different diverse uh, producers right. writers uh so every song is different on mm. the album every song is different and you're one of those artists that talk with music on pressure you do music at your own time <laughs> i like that i don't like pressure um pressure is not good it, it distracts mm. you it um you do things because you're trying to prove a point right. or you're trying to hit a certain deadline because people think you're supposed to hit a certain deadline right but i've always believed that um the ball is in your hands always as mm. an artist the ball is in your hands you get to decide how you release your music what you want to sing about mm. what you want to sound like what you want to talk about you get to decide that no one tells you mm. what to do um the fans are always waiting the fans are always ready to receive the work mm. um 
you just have to take your time and make sure you're in your zone. Because every time you do things chasing mm. certain people or what people have said, mm. you're not going to concentrate on doing a good job on the mm. record. Mm. So um, for me, I have to be in the right space of mind. And it has to be something I want to do in that moment at that time, and then I'll do it. Mm. If I'm not feeling it, you will feel it in the song. Mm. That, ah, you will feel it. Fans, fans are very smart. Mm. They can tell. But when you do something and you're doing it in your time, in your zone, from your soul, your pace, ah, they yeah. will hear it. Yeah, that uh, that reminds me of something. Uh, uh, one of the albums yeah, ju just dropped last week. Yanas mm. Nazir Agamba. I'm not trying to do music that sounds like everything on the top 40. Thank you. Well, that's it. You want to gravitate I towards what to I'm doing? The biggest hug, yeah. Yeah. That is how it's supposed to be. Ingenio. Um, I don't know how to say this, but for me, what defines success for me? What defines right. a successful album or successful music or a successful career? Right. It's not because every song I did went to the charts mm. or won an award. Mm. Nah. For me, success is when I sing a song. Mm. And first of all, know that I give it 150% while recording it. Right. I give it everything vocally. I give it my soul. Right. And I know that as I walk down the street, someone's going to walk up to me and tell me, your song touched me like this. Your song changed my life like this. Mm. Your song played as I walked down the aisle. Mm. For me, that is what music means to me. So people might see this and they may not know uh, who is behind that craft. The hair? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not planning to do it for business. Mm. Uh, it's just something I do at home when I'm bored. So this I did myself. Right. Um, the other day someone sent me a WhatsApp message, a lady. Right. I'd taken a picture and posted it on Instagram. Right. And she got it and asked me, Hi Juliana, I'm your fan. I just wanted to know why did you have this done? And I looked at the WhatsApp and actually laughed. Because mm. <laughs> I said, No, what am I going to tell her? I right. did it myself. Right. So anyway, I just told her, I said, No, it's, it's a wig and I, I did it myself. I know how to make wigs. And she said, Wow. I said, Yeah. Wow. Mm. What are some other things? Because I know you like to clean your house yourself, you like to cook your food. I what like to clean my things? house. I like to do my laundry myself. Mm. I love... What else do I like? I like doing my nails myself. Shout out to your nails. You don't yeah, have but, those but long, are, long nails. But these are ordinary. But sometimes I've I... I've always uh, adored women who have like short nails, short, not the extended huh? things. I like short nails. And I think for me it's partly because I like doing my own housework. Mm. It's easier when you have short nails. Mm. You know, to cook, to cut your fruits to, to um, wash your vegetables. You don't want long nails now. Right. It's, it's a bit uncomfortable. Even, ah, even when I'm styling my hair, right. nails, long nails have a way of getting into my way. Yeah. Getting in my way. So when I have shorter nails, it's easy. even when I'm doing my makeup, I do my own makeup most of the time, except for special, uh, maybe photo shoots and video shoots. But on a daily basis, I do my own ma uh, makeup. And still, mm. When I have long nails, it makes it so uncomfortable. Right. Like there are things that won't get perfectly because of the long nail. Right. So I, I like my nails short. Plus it's clean. <laughs> yeah. It's hygienic. Hygiene. Shout out mm. to all the ladies that have short nails. It's sexy, right? Especially right. when you have short nails and you put dark colors. I like black. Like black, like even navy blue. Right. Very purple. Dark purple. Stands out and there's that kind of vibe it commands. Absolutely. Like I walk through and see you like short nails. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us the connection you had with radio. And because uh, people may not know, but you wrote Waka Janja. And what other records? Twali no Mkwan. All those. Twali no Mkwan City Gwali Gwamani. You know that song? Yeah. He wrote that song too. Wow. Uh, I think for me, we were friends, but I also admired him as a lot as an artist. Right. I absolutely admired him. Right. And his gift. And every time we were in studio, I would sit and look at him in awe of how much he can do. 
just what a genius he was. The process of writing a song, it could take like an entire day, telling you how you should go up, the progression of the song, the lows. Mm. Talk to us when you did that song, Waka Janja, mm. creating the song. Mm. You received the call and he tells you, Juliana, I don't even know if that's what he called you. What did he call you? Sometimes he called me my sister. Okay. How are you doing, my sister? How are you doing, my... What else did he call me? I Not Mwana Wachinto. <laughs> no, he never <laughs> called me Mwana Wachinto, no. Um, the, the way radio sometimes worked was you want to get into studio, you want to do a song, sometimes you just even call him. As anyone who's worked with him knows him. He walked in there and I'm sure wrote that song in like, in like 15 minutes. Right. And he was on his way. Sometimes it was that easy when you're working with radio. He's like a machine. He was like a machine. Right. Like you just switched him on. So, you know, in between the recording sessions, we'd sit and, and have conversations about all sorts of things. But the one thing that hit me every time he spoke was how brilliant he was. He was extremely brilliant. He's, he was one of those people who just had an idea about each and everything. Music is life for me, so I'm always in studio. I'm always creating something. I, the moment I wake up and I have this thing that is in my head, right. I just go to the studio and I'm like, guys, I have this thing, I want to sing this. I mean, when I'm in the studio, in a recording session, it's the most fun thing for me to do. Like, wow. If someone wakes me up in the morning and pisses me off, the moment I get to studio, I forget. Like it takes away all the bad vibes, all the negative vibes. If I'm sad about something, right. put me in a studio and make me record a song I love mm. and I'll be good. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. It's been a nice chat. It's been a nice lunch, actually. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Namaste.